Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are going to recap the last five days of soccer from Monday to Friday. The big headlines, big matches, and more. Now the two big headlines both involve Manchester City. First one was Manchester United's 2-1 loss to Leicester the other day. Manchester City have officially won the Premier League title. Their, their fifth Premier League to title total in the, in the Premier League era. And the Champions League final has been moved out of Turkey, but not to England. It has been moved to Lisbon as negotiations between the English FA and UEFA were unsuccessful. Another p big piece of news, America Laporte has got Spanish citizenship and it's now eligible for selection for the Spanish national team. This comes after, after a grand total of zero senior national caps for France. And, and a, after being pretty much on paper their best defender, he wants to get game time for the Euros and I don't blame him. I really, really don't blame him. You would have done the same. You know it. And the next piece of news, Gianluigi Buffon has been has announced that he's going to leave Juventus again at the end of the season. Although he said that he hasn't decided whether he's going to keep playing or retire, many reports say that he's going to that he's going to keep playing. Now the now the biggest rumor for Buffon's next move is a move to FC Barcelona. But the Catalan club, Catalan club want a replacement for Norberto Neso, who they're looking to sell on in the summer to make a profit. And Buffon may be, in, may be a good shirt-selling shirt choice. Now, reports have come out with a feud between Real Madrid boss Zinedine Zidane and his starting left-back, Marcelo. So, I am, so... That's why, that's the alleged reason that he's been dropped from the Real Madrid squad for their ma for their next match. and But Zinedine Zidane has went out and said the day that the argument was speculated that he has an injury crisis and will look at Castilla players, which does seem a little hypocritical to drop Marcelo than then resort to Castilla players, probably at the same position as well. Now, Premier League clubs have unanimously, unanimously agreed a new TV rights deal with Sky Sports, BT, and Amazon, but it's not exclusive. Well, it's not an exclusive deal, which could mean, which could mean, that for Canadians, for the Canadian viewers, fellow Canadian. Howdy there. That it could still be on the zone. We're gonna have to have some updates for that one. Southampton have also confirmed that Ryan Burchant will be leaving the club at the end of the season. Speaking of which, speaking of leaving and contention, ML Forsberg has signed a new contract with RB Leipzig until 2025 as well. And Xavi has. It's also signed a new two-year deal with Al Sadd. But a big bummer for the for the Dutch team. Virgil van Dijk has conf has confirmed he will not play in the Euros. He said that he will not be physically fit, and he set his sights on the preseason, which again is a big blow to the Dutch national team, and means that. Their full strength, that their full strength center back partnership for the Euros is gonna be Stefan de Vrij and Matthias Lit, which is still a big partnership. But the loss of Virgil Van Dijk is going to be known for the Netherlands. Now moving on to the matches, Barcelona played Levante on on Tuesday, and they they had a two 0 lead. They botched that. They got a third goal to make it 3-2 and botched that as well, which means that 
the final score was 3 all, And that, I believe, puts them out of La Liga title contention. And I think that their most likely option now is third. Even though they, even though they did win the Copa del Rey, this could mean bad things for Ronald Koeman. And Barcelona did contact Hansi Flick before he took the Germany job. And as you can see, it was unsuccessful. So it's also going to be very interesting to see what happens there as well. And Arsenal beat Chelsea at home, beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge 1-0 after an error from Jorginho. Now Chelsea fans are now getting our are pointing to the fact that nine years ago they lost to Arsenal at they lost Arsenal at Stamford Bridge and they ended up winning the Champions League, but I I didn't I don't really know how reputable that is. And the last big match of the week is Liverpool versus Manchester United. Now this was a match that went this was a match that even though that Liverpool won, they would still have a chance to top four. Bruno Fernandez got Manchester United up one 0 inside ten minutes, but Liverpool got the lead before half time, before adding to their tally to make it three one. Roberto Firmino brace. Marcus Rashford ended up getting one more before Mohamed Salah scored one ninetieth minute to seal it for Liverpool. Now it's time for this week's big opinion, and I think that it's Atletico Madrid is set to win the La Liga title, with Barcelona down in down in third, and Barcelona down in third, and Atletico Madrid winning on Wednesday, getting them up to eighty points. I don't getting them around eighty points. I if. <laughs> I don't see where Atletico Madrid not winning th this title anymore. So that's my great opinion for this week. We're moving on to our next segment, which is the best match to watch of the week. So this one is the just the best match, not in terms of skill level, but what happened in the match. This one we go to the we go to the Turkish League on Tuesday last Tuesday. For Genkler Berisi versus Gostepe. Gostepe went out, uh, got out to a 2 0 lead by the 31st minute to uh, make it 2 0, as I said before. But Genkler Berisi, I probably just butchered that, made it 2 1 at half time. They ended up getting another to tie it at 2 all. Tie it up at 2 all after the. Tie it 2 all. It's forty ninth minute, but Garstepe got the lead back in the next minute, make it three two. Genkler Brishi got it and end up getting three more goals, getting three more goals by a hat trick from Stansu. Another match be Gazi here Gazitep versus Kai Kuriyasaspor, which wasn't as interesting but had a higher scoreline. Five to four, same day actually, it's in the same league. Where Toran, <laughs> Toran, Kobiasi and Soderland got Rizespor out to a three 0 lead by halftime. Maxim and Demir scored in consecutive minutes to make it two, three to two. But Sib but Snabo and Samudio made made it five to two after made five two. Then Gus, 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 then Gus